Olympic athletes use wind tunnels to track their wind resistance. But we deal with our own personal wind tunnel every day we take the car out on the road. When it comes to mileage, the weight, design, and engine that comes with your car makes a difference. But it's the wind that really drags things down. Do you drive any differently to try to save on gas mileage? Uh, <laughs> I probably should, but no, I don't know. No, not really. Are you driving slower these days? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You just got to deal with it. You know? I mean, what can you do? What you can do, according to author and professor Joe Katz, is slow down. Wind resistance becomes the main culprit as you start going faster. Professor Katz says the faster you go, wind resistance becomes a bigger and costlier equation. Therefore, you have to press the pedal more. You need to put more gas and more energy. That's very simple. Now, you've probably driven and put your hand out the window and feel the wind pushing it back. Well, it's the same thing with your car. The faster you go, the more resistance the worse the mileage. It's like you're going, uh, going up a hill and then the, the, the slope gets larger and larger. So it's basically you travel the same distance but you climb a higher slope as you go faster. Cat says resistance goes up 77 percent between 60 and 80 miles per hour. That could drop your fuel economy by four to eight miles per gallon. And I'm more conscious about driving the speed limit so that I, I save a few miles per gallon there. The difference is less dramatic at the slower speeds, but once you put the pedal to the metal, you'll also be making a faster trip to the gas pump.